of stuck here. The cops won't bother me. I got my nice squid sandals and we're about to um, just go test drive this thing. Feels pretty good to now of course we got like an extra or hmm, come on. I think the battery is really low. That could be an issue. It started a while ago. Oh, it's in kilometers. Oh, the battery's dying. Well, make sure you always have your kickstand. Uh... So, it's in kilometers that I see. And, okay, the bike moves. Hey, the bike moves. That's uh, quite quite good. I was afraid it wouldn't start, but it's just, it was the kickstart. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. Surprisingly comfortable. It's not heating up too much because I'm moving. So that's quite good. It's uh, staying low, but as soon as I slow down, it um, the idle becomes really weird as soon as I... Uh, And here we go, okay. I don't want to go too fast because, you know, I'm wearing shorts, I'm not wearing any gloves, and this is a brand new bike that I don't know if there's something wrong with it. But look, it, the speedometer is not working, the tachometer is not working. That is why I think the uh, temperature gauge is off. So it is heating up in the temperature gauge, but I think it's just that. I think it's just the temperature gauge that's I think the whole gauge cluster is off. Yeah, so it seems like none of like none of the um, gauges and stuff seem to work. But I don't think uh, in one minute it's heated up so much that uh, it's the head gasket. So I think I have a bad temperature and and speed gauge so the bike actually rides well but none of these speedo stuff works but the uh, the heat on the temperature gauge is really high but I don't think it's off I think it's um, I think it's off I because none of the dash stuff works. Hey, hi, I'm gonna pull into the garage and just kind of look around. It doesn't seem like it's overheating. It's behaving quite well. I'm gonna put it right here. So it just seems like I have a bad badge gauge cluster. I do not think it's a overheating issue anymore. Ugh. It is a difficult bike to put into the the kickstand. So this thing does get extremely hot, but I don't think we have a head gasket issue anymore. I did think that a while ago. I do think this is creating a lot of heat here, but just because I'm getting like these bad readings on this thing, it just makes me think that perhaps it's the gauge cluster and not the temperature gauge. I think the temperature gauge is like weirdly off because it heats up within like 30 seconds to a minute and it stays up. Look at that. Even with the key off, it stays up. So there's something off about it. So also, what does a uh, met mean? to test drive this again Ugh. man this thing is just hard to get up oh actually there's a little bit of a technique okay I really hate this key it's like they made it really difficult so one of the things I hate about this Kimco right off is that 
the filler gate cap is here and then they had to route a large tube that goes all the way to here and it would make a whole lot more sense putting the gas filler right here but and to open it of course you go this way and you open it just don't like that system the cables kind of okay so that's the start and it starts right up now this gauge is not working at all so I think that's why it's overheating it's not really overheating I think it's a temperature issue that I have look at that off-road and scooter I actually don't like that about scooters it's like if you're gonna get a scooter you don't want it to be loud you know so one thing I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take it back to the garage and I'm just going to look over bolts and anything it could potentially need what does met in mean and then there's like a cell phone thing do the hazards work no the hazards don't even work there's something off there's something electrical I think the issue is electrical and not anything with the engine. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.